Hi, this is Marsha Jeans, Instructional Technology Specialist, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the animation feature in Smart Notebook 10.0. Let me show you an example. Here is an activity in which the students will click on the triangles that, that are equilateral. So for example, this triangle, when I click on it, it has an animation, which is a spin. If I click on one that's not an equilateral, nothing happens. So let me show you how you do it. You can click on any object, whether it be a shape, it could be text, it could be a graphic, an image, and you can click on the drop-down arrow and go to Properties. The Properties window will appear over on the right-hand side, and you click on Object Animation. Then you can select what type of object, object animation you would like. So this one will we will hit spin. And then you have different choices, like for each animation you will have some type of choices. This one you can do clockwise or counterclockwise. And then you do have choices on the speed. And then also, when do you want the object to be animated? When the object is clicked on or when you enter the page? On this particular case, I'm going to click when the object is clicked. Do you want it to repeat? And on this one, I'll just click None. So now let's watch. How does it look? There you go. If you ever need to remove an animation, you can simply click on the object, go down to the down arrow, go to Properties, go to Object Animation, and click Type None. And then you have removed the animation. Let's look at another example. This one is a really neat activity in which the students click on a box and the animation box kind of scrolls down. It looks really, really neat. Here we go. So let me show you how this particular animation is done. First of all, there is white text that has like oops or great and it is the same color as the background but when the animation comes down, the white text is revealed. So let's do the same thing on this box. So again, we can click on it. Now this time I'm going to show you a different technique instead of the down arrow. You can click on the Properties tab. And the Properties tab is right below the Paper, click, paper Clip, which is the Attachments tab. And then we go to Object Animation. Now this particular one is called Flip Around Access, but what makes it work is you have to flip it along the bottom edge. Okay? And I'm just going to leave the rest of it the same. So let's go ahead and take it back up here because it decided to move. And we're going to click and voila. Now notice the word oops did not show up there. That's because we've got a layering issue. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this back up here. And the oops is kind of hidden back there. I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to go Order, and I'm going to send it to the front. Bring forward. Okay, so here we go. Let's try, and voila, Oops shows up. Now, if I click this box again, it will continue on going down. Okay, and you can always drag it and put it back where you'd like it to go. All right, let's look at another example. These, uh, this particular example has... Um, images that are right behind these circles. And again, it's just a simple animation. So um, let me show you how that's done. First of all, the first thing you would do is you would actually put um, some pictures in the background first, and then you would draw a shape that goes on top, and then we're going to animate the shape. So we'll click on it. I'm going to go to the Properties tab. I'm going to go to Object Animation, and this one will select fade out. On that one, we don't have a direction. Um, you can, of course, make it normal. Let's, let me just show you what uh, slow would look like, just so you can kind of see. Alrighty, so let's try it. Alright, here we go. There we go. And if I click on any of these pictures again, that object animation will um, start again. If I go back to a previous page and then come back to the page, notice that the animation is ready to start from